We have so much in store as we explore the city of Davis. And today we are taking you to Seasons Kitchen and Bar. Woo! Seasons Kitchen and Bar. Oh man. How you doing? Pretty good. How you doing, Jason? Good to see you again. Thank you so much for having me here today. It is such a delight to be here at Seasons Kitchen and Bar hanging out with Jason. Jason, today we are here to make some drinks. Definitely. And some night, not, not just drinks, but I mean, we're talking like in this area, this is one of the only like cocktail mixer, what do you call it? What's the terminology? Kind of as far as the craft cocktails for the craft the area. cocktails, yeah. that's it. Craft cocktails. Bar is the big word here because we're going to be making some drinks here, right? We are. We're going to make a couple of drinks. We're going to do a lemon drop, which is a classic cocktail. Then we're going to do an old fashioned, which Ooh. is more of a spirit forward one that you see a lot of people drinking nowadays. So. I mean, lemon drop sounds like candy. Is it going to taste like candy? It's going to be sweet. It's going to be delicious. So first, what we're going to do is take your tin. We're going to grab a couple of lemons. So what you want to do is muddle it because you want to get the essence of the oils out of the lemon. And then what we do is we're gonna take simple syrup. It's basically 50% sugar and water. An ounce of that as well. Is that Probably fresh right squeeze, lemon juice? It is. Then we're gonna like take that. our vodka, two ounces, all the way to the top. Twice. And then once you got your booze in there, before you start shaking, okay. you wanna get your glass out and get it ready Just I'm so you're not watering down the drink for somebody. I'm super excited about the shaking part. This is, this is big, big time. We'll roll the rim of the glass in sugar. It's classic garnish for a Lemon drop. Okay. okay. We got all our ingredients in here. Now, is lemon drop a popular drink? Around? It is. Uh, we see it a lot with our demographic and the, the clientele we have. Double strainer. Double Make strainer. sure you take the ice out the top of the drink. When do I sip it? Oh. Oh. It's pretty good. That is refreshing. Enjoying it. Established the martini glass. And lemon lemon wedge. Gonna wrap it around like this. Yes, sir. What do I do with this lemon wedge? You can toss it right over here. Toss it right over there. Roll the rim. Like this. You roll, roll your boat gently down the street. Merrily, merrily, <laughs> merrily, merrily. Davis is where it is. Folks, I'm getting really good at this bartending thing. It's <laughs> so awesome. Okay, is That's that funny. enough? Yes, sir. All right. Well, oh, then you put one ounce, which is all the way to the top of the small side. There are those who, why is it not coming out? Grab the top lid, Grab the, put it over the top. And when you put it down, you want to smack it pretty good because <laughs> it's got a seal. Flip it. Yes, sir. You're going to shake. All right, here we go. I got this part right here. You got right this here. part? Yep. You can put your strainer in. This way? Other way. This way. And then okay. you use leverage. So you want to hold it down. Like this? Yep. All right. Seasons has already won some awards for being the best of something, right? Yeah, best restaurant in Davis. Pretty high accolade from last year. I think that we have one of the most beautiful dining rooms in, the, in Davis as I well. I agree. To a fantastic, delicious. Mm. You did a pretty good job on yours. I like the booze. So Old Fashioned is a very classic cocktail. Um, basically, three things you need for a cocktail. Sugar, bitters, and alcohol. Put an ounce of sugar in here for more simple syrup. So oh. tell me about this bar and when, when did this become establishment? So the restaurant itself was um, seasons for a while and then we got our ownership group purchased it, remodeled it and turned it into probably one of the best dining rooms in Davis in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, we like to think of it as an elegant, casual, almost fine dining, so a restaurant for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, you come in your jeans, come in your flip flops, in a suit, we're here for everyone to have a good time and get some good food and drinks. Yeah. And explain to me the kitchen part, what kind of things you got on the menu? Well, one of our main focal points when you come in the restaurant is the wood-fired oven. So we have a lot of things coming out of our oven that's got that nice wood fire smoke to it. We got pizzas, we got flatbreads coming out. So right now we got the sugar in here. We got a couple dashes of the Angostura bitters. We'll take two ounces of our bourbon. Drop so is right there music? Here. I mean, what do we got going on when, we, when people can expect when they come to Seasons? So we do have music going on in here. It's a lively crowd. This bar picks up fast. Um, when it gets busy, especially when the Mondavi Center is going on downtown, um, we're busy. It's a lively crowd. Mm. Music's going. When you're stirring the drink, you want to go 20 times in each direction. You're actually counting 20 times. Somewhat. All right, in your head. <laughs> and I know if uh, I had too much to drink, 
I did see a nice cool hotel just like right next door to the season. And it's beautiful. It didn't even look it like is. a hotel. So that's the Hilton Garden Inn. It's actually the same ownership group that owns the restaurant and the hotel. I'm learning so much here about Davis and there's so many like little nuances and little things that people probably didn't take the opportunity to notice that Davis has these little things that if you're not paying attention, you're gonna miss it. So what we do is we squeeze the orange peel right over here because you want to get the essence Wait, of the Wait, you oil. actually can squeeze an orange peel? Yeah, you want to get mm. the oils out of it. Got it. And then last garnish is a Luxardo cherry. These are probably some of the best cherries. What kind of cherries have. are these? They're Luxardo, they're Italian. Can I just like eat them? Yeah, one? feel free. They're like candy. The sugar content is intense. Super sweet. Do I get to drink this one now? Yeah, try that one. So it's an old fashioned. Typically it's got a little bit of soda water, but nowadays you see a lot of people not put soda water and just keep it spirit forward. Cheers to Davis. Cheers. You should have one too, I almost feel I would. like. I mean. <laughs> there it is. That's awesome. There you have it. I hope you get the opportunity to eat, drink, play, and stay. Seasons was just the beginning. One of those little gems that are happening right here in Davis. You should come see it for yourself. Make the magic happen, just for you. Make it a staycation. I would.